Hello and welcome to our new video series from the Cape May County Library of Reading Recommendations for Adults. Um, my name is Natalie. I'm going to be your host. I work at the Cape May County Library uh, and I'm going to be recommending three books uh, for each of one of our videos. We're going to be posting these about twice a week on our YouTube channel uh, and we're going to be talking about a variety of books. I'm trying to pick some fiction and nonfiction in a wide variety of genres so hopefully there's something for everybody in each video and at the end of the video I'll let you know uh, where to find everything um, digitally so you can read everything while you're at home. Okay so our first book recommendation is the Gollum and the Ginny by Helene Wecker. So this is a historical, magical realism uh, romance set in 1899 in New York City. Uh, a golem, Chava, shows up on a ship. She's immigrated over here with her master who created her uh, from Poland. But while they were on the boat, her master died. So when she shows up in New York City, she is kind of unmoored and not really sure what to do with herself. Uh, and she settles into um, an area of New York City. And our Ginny is named Ahmad. He is from the Syrian desert and he got trapped in a copper flask and in New York City he is released accidentally by a tinsmith. So um, he also doesn't really have a, a purpose when he shows up. So Chava and Ahmad are trying to figure out how to live their lives and what it means to be magical beings in New York City in 1899 and they wind up coming in contact with each other and starting to fall in love. Uh, and of course there's uh, a thrilling kind of action plot. They meet up with someone who is threatening their ways of life and they have to make some tough decisions. Uh, this is a really great book. Um, it's a nice long read so it'll take up a bit of time while we're staying at home. Uh, and you can find this on Libby in text and audio and you can also find this as an audiobook on Hoopla which is another one of our digital services. And I do, I have notes on the back so don't I'm going to be looking at those every once in a while. Okay, so the next book I'd like to recommend, uh, we're going to step away from fantasy and going to go kind of into its opposite here with uh, some sci-fi. So this is a novel called Old Man's War by John Scalzi. Um, this is the first in a series, and we have the first three books uh, on Libby as text books. Um, so it is the future and Earth has started colonizing other planets and they found other aliens there so they're fighting a lot of interstellar wars um, and the way that they have started to recruit for these armies is with retired people. So everyone knows on Earth when you turn 75 uh, you can join the army and you get sent out to train and fight in the wars in space. Uh, so our main character in this novel, um, John Perry, signs up for the army and he doesn't really know what to expect and I won't spoil anything beyond that. Uh, so the first three books of the series are available in Libby. Uh, and that's Old Man's War by John Scalzi. And our final book recommendation, uh, we have a nonfiction item. Um, I don't physically have all of the books that I'm recommending, so I've drawn some book covers. <laughs> So this is my first uh, original art book cover. Uh, this is Bad Blood by John Carreru. Um, you can find this on Libby in text and audio. So the uh, subtitle for this is Secrets and Lies in a Silicon Valley Startup. Uh, you might have seen the documentary that was made by HBO called The Inventor, and it was based on this book. Um, so in 2014, a new huge startup company called Theranos, Theranos, was started by uh, a young woman whose name I have to look at, Elizabeth Holmes. Um, they were like a runaway success in Silicon Valley. She was claiming that her company could make an amazing new medical device that could do blood tests very rapidly. Uh, and they raised billions of dollars, like $9 billion in a series of startup funding. 
uh, and it was one of the most successful startups ever. It was getting a lot of press and people were very, very impressed with this young woman who they started to call the next Steve Jobs. Uh, the only catch was the technology never worked. Uh, so this is a crazy story of kind of a runaway startup and how, um, you know, this woman, Elizabeth Holmes, was able to create an empire based on something that didn't actually work at all. Um, so you can get this on Libby in text and audio. Okay, so those are my recommendations for the first video of our uh, of our series here from the Cape May County Library. Uh, if you want to find out how to get these books, you can go to cmclibrary.org. Um, if you click on Menu and go to Borrow, you can go to eBooks and eAudiobooks, and there'll be links there to Hoopla and Libby. Those are our two uh, digital book services. Uh, you will need your library card number to access all of our digital services. If you're not sure what your library card number is, you can email us at reference at cmclibrary.org. Uh, you can also get a library card if you don't have a library card with us. You can click on the link that's right on our front website page at cmclibrary.org. Click on get a library card. You'll fill in your information and we will get a library card number to you and that'll let you access uh, all of our digital services, including our databases. And if you're looking for more reading recommendations while we're getting all of our reading done right now, uh, you can go to our uh, website, click on menu, go to help and go to recommendations. And there's a bunch of links on there. Uh, there's a personalized form you can fill out to get some reading recommendations. And there's a couple of other newsletters and resources to help you find the next books that you're gonna read. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, uh, this has been Natalie at the Cape May County Library. Thank you.